Today's topic is king oyster mushroom and its cultivation. Its scientific name is Pleurotus eryngii. Because of its shape and size, it is also known as king trumpet mushroom, French horn mushroom. Unlike common oyster mushroom cultivation, king oyster mushrooms are cultivated in a slightly different manner, as the properties and growing conditions of this variety of mushroom is little different. Watch the video till the end, and you will end up learning all about the cultivation parameters and different cultivation methods of this popular variety of mushroom. Pleurotus eryngii mushroom are really the king of the Pleurotus kingdom because of its size, shelf life, market demand, and delicacy. The genus Pleurotus is extremely wide and vast which do contain several varieties of mushrooms and can be grown throughout the year with minimum investment. In fact, you can easily earn more than 1 crore rupees from just 30 cents land by cultivating oyster mushrooms. To learn about the same, go through the profit calculation and methodology video. Link is given in the description. All other species of oyster mushrooms are side-growing, but king oyster is a top-fruiting species. Generally, common oyster mushrooms gills and cap portions are in greater demand due to their taste, but in case of king, the stem or the stipe portion is preferable due to their heavenly taste. Hence they are intentionally grown in high carbon dioxide environment to achieve desirable long and fatty stems. Therefore for indoor cultivation, king is considered the best. King mushroom can grow very large in size, few times, single piece of mushroom can weight up to one pound. King oyster mushrooms are very versatile in nature and blends easily with several varieties of recipes, hence they are very high in demand, all over the world. These varieties are an excellent alternative of non-vegan food items. The best part about king oyster mushrooms are that, they are soft and juicy from inside, but smooth and hard from outside, they are not very fragile like other variety of mushrooms, hence can be cooked in various shapes and size, and it won't melt. It can be used in burger, pizza, pasta, various continental dishes, or can be grilled, sautéed, roasted and fried as per wish. King oyster mushrooms are very versatile in nature and blends easily with several varieties of recipes, hence they are very high in demand, all over the world. These varieties are an excellent alternative of non-vegan food items. The best part about king oyster mushrooms are that, they are soft and juicy from inside, but smooth and hard from outside, they are not very fragile like other variety of mushrooms, hence can be cooked in various shapes and size, and it won't melt. It can be used in burger, pizza, pasta, various continental dishes, or can be grilled, sautéed, roasted and fried as per wish. King oyster mushrooms are thick and meaty with an aromatic mushroom flavor, which sweetens upon cooking. It holds together well during cooking and is often used as a substitute for scallops or other mild flavor meats. King mushrooms are not only delicious but are also a very good source of riboflavin, niacin, pantothenic acid, phosphorus, potassium, copper, and dietary fiber. It is a good source of protein, thiamine, vitamin B6, folate, iron, magnesium, zinc, and manganese. It is very low in saturated fat and cholesterol. These properties make king oyster a superfood. Commercially, king oyster mushroom cultivation is a very profitable business for farmers and entrepreneurs because of its very long shelf life and high market demand. The other varieties of mushrooms are often very delicate and fragile and often difficult to transport to faraway places. But king oyster mushrooms are the real king, with a very high shelf life, up to 7 to 10 days, can be marketed at very distant places, hence excellent for export. It is one of the most sought-after mushrooms in restaurants and vegetable markets. These mushrooms can be further preserved for an even longer duration, by slicing them and preserving them in a brine solution, increasing their shelf life by several months. They are very easy to pack, often packed in PP bags, cardboards, in an aesthetical manner. Shelf life in freezing temperature is around 12 to 14 days. It can be sliced and sun-dried or machine-dried easily. To learn all about mushroom food processing and cultivation, you can also join the training program offered by BM Mushroom. For details visit bmmushroom.com. Cultivation Parameters Like other oyster mushrooms, king oyster mushrooms can be similarly grown, but there are little things you will need to keep in mind. 
King oyster mushrooms require a very sterile environment to grow. They are grown in a relatively high carbon dioxide environment to achieve the desired shape and size. It can be cultivated indoors as well as outdoor. When king oysters are grown outdoor, gills will grow wider and stems will grow small. Their shelf life would also decrease. In outdoor cultivation, there are risks involved with pest attacks and outdoor climate conditions. Hence it is recommended to grow them indoors. They can be easily grown in your home. You can also make small ready-to-grow bags for business purposes. These are winter-loving species, similar to button mushrooms. It can be grown all year round if you design a grow room with a temperature controller. The vegetative growth takes place at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Vegetative growth is the stage when the mycelium spreads throughout the substrate. For the fruiting stage, it requires 14 to 18 degrees Celsius. King oysters start pinning due to the sudden change in environmental parameters. It takes around 30 days to complete the vegetative phase. Then it can be shifted to the fruiting room where sudden low temperature and high humidity is induced to initiate pinning. From this stage onwards, king oyster mushrooms shall keep on growing in several flushing for up to the next two months. One medium-sized fruiting block can produce 1.5 to 2.5 kilograms of mushroom. What substrate does king oyster grow on? King oyster mushrooms are often found growing wild on dead and decaying hardwood. However, unlike the other oyster species, Pleurotus eryngii can be mildly parasitic of the roots of herbaceous plants. In terms of mushroom cultivation, the king oyster mushroom can be cultivated on cellulose-rich substrates like sugarcane mulch, straw, and corn cob. However, it will perform better and yield more fruits when grown on the hardwood-based substrate. They can be grown on hardwood sawdust, chips, pellets, etc. Sawdust in itself contains very few nutrients and hence often mixed with supplements. Supplementation of wheat bran in wood chips increases mushroom production and dry matter content. You can also download the free study material for various supplementation methods. The link is given in the description. The quality of Pleurotus eryngii is significantly affected by substrate ingredients. The type of substrate, as well as the type and quantity of supplement, appear to have a substantial effect on prolonging the release of nutrients. The more you supplement the more will be yield, but then there will be more chances of contamination. Hence it needs to be sterilized properly. Use 1-5% to supplement according to your expertise. In large-scale cultivation, calcium sulfate and calcium carbonate are also added to balance the pH level pH level of around 6.5 is preferred. Further water is added to the substrate to increase the moisture content up to 60 to 65 percent. Then comes the stage of sterilizing and pasteurizing. There are several methods of doing the same. You can use autoclave machines or pressure sterilizers for this. Once the substrate is packed in grow bag and sterilization is complete, spawning is done. Spawns are the grains or any media carrying the mycelium for inoculation. You can make your own spawn or directly purchase it from a nearby spawn lab. To learn spawn making or purchasing the same, visit the website bmmushroom.com. Casing stage. In the case of king oyster mushrooms, casing stage is optional. A casing layer is applied to the fully colonized surface of some mushroom species to increase humidity, improve yield and quality of the fruiting bodies. When cultivating king oyster mushrooms, a casing layer is completely optional. There is a slight risk of contamination when applying a casing layer if the casing soil is not properly pasteurized. As an alternative, we recommend lightly scratching the top surface of the fruiting bag. Without opening the bag use your fingers or the handle of a spoon to scratch against the surface, it will create indentations which will generate the ideal conditions for the formation of king oyster mushroom primordial. For those who wish to apply a casing layer, we recommend using a mixture of 50% cocoa coir and 50% vermiculite with 1% hydrated lime, which is rehydrated with boiling water. Once cooled to room temperature, a layer can be applied to the fully colonized surface of the substrate. If you are not using casing soil, then you will need to scratch the outer surface for once during the fruiting stage. 
You can download several other casing soil formulas and methodologies, the link is in the description. Harvesting the king oyster is easy, you can cut it from the base using a knife, or twist it gently from the base. Word of caution, during harvest, avoid disturbing the casing soil. It may delay further fruiting. The mushroom cultivation and its world is very fascinating. To keep learning more, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I will teach you further in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Happy mushrooming.